Hey everyone, this is Amy with Simply Elizabeth Crafts and here is our fourth make and take for the day. All right, so this one is going to be using the Pattern Play dies and I'm gonna show you those real quick. So we're gonna spell a word and I'll tell you what that is in a little bit when we're going through it. But this, um, these dies are cut out just with the regular paper, but then I put our foam adhesive sheets on it, so it's going to give it a little bit of a pop-up. So it's like a Stampin' Dimensional, but it's a full sheet. So we're going to do that. Um, we're also going to be using the Harvest Hellos. With the Harvest Hellos, there is a punch, and it is the apple punch, but it also can make a pumpkin. So we're going to do a pumpkin and um, we might even do an apple to go with it. I don't know yet. <laughs> we'll see. Um, again, I've got all these kind of in my head, so we're kind of going with the flow. The paper we're using is In Good Taste. And this one, I actually have this sheet on. And these are all the different designs. So we're actually using this dark pattern right here. We're gonna have it as a fall type card. Okay, I don't know why I keep opening that. <laughs> I just need to take our card base and we're gonna just fold it in half. We're gonna use the bone folder. And then we're gonna take our um, in good taste DSP and I, I want to show you something it's embossed using the tasteful textile 3d embossing folder so that just gives it some dimension and I didn't do a very good um, job at folding the card base it doesn't look like let's try that again because it will it will be very noticeable on this one because we're going to be covering the whole front of the cardstock. Let's see if that's better. That's definitely better. Let's try this side and see if that side works. Nope, I like the other side better. Okay, no big deal. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually use our liquid adhesive, our liquid multi-purpose glue. And the reason for that is I want to be able to move it so that I have it even on that card base. All right. All right. So I've moved it around so that it's good and perfect to the best it can be. All right, now let's go ahead and take our black memento, ink up, and we're gonna just stamp it down, just like that. Let's go ahead, we're gonna do two. We're just gonna do two. Why not, right? Okay. Now we're gonna take our pair of pizzazz, and I didn't mean to close that, and we're gonna just stamp twice. Well, that didn't do very well. That's much better. And then stamp it again. We're gonna stamp it a fourth time. <laughs> All right, so we've got one, two, I think actually I wanna do two per her um, pumpkin. Okay, that's good. We should be done now. All right, so let's go ahead and punch out our pumpkin. So we're just gonna line it up. Now you can always stamp this on Whisper White and use your Stampin' Blends to color it in. Um, 
if I had wanted to do a um, when you do a lot using the colored cardstock actually shortens the time it takes you to do it so that's always good all right so there's our pumpkins there and now let's come in here we're gonna need to cut this paper All right, and then we're just gonna stick it in and punch and then move it and punch again and then move it and punch one more time and then we got to do one more and that one's a little further in so let's do that we're gonna line it up hold it And then there we go. All right, and then all of that can go in my trash bucket. Okay. All right, so that's that. And now we're just gonna come right over here and we're gonna punch out our stem. So we need one and we need two. Okay. Now, I've all of a sudden drawn a blank. I believe the apple is skinny, is a, um, the larger to the skinny, and the pumpkin, I believe, is bigger at top. But we're going to make sure really quick. I'm going to check it really quick online because I want to make sure that I do it right. Let's see. Yes, it is fatter up top than, well, actually some of them aren't. <laughs> some of them are not. Wasn't that just wonderful? All right, let's look at the apples. I'm pretty sure an apple is really skinny at the top. It is. So we're gonna go with it that way. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Who cares, right? Let's get our glue dots out. That was like a, <laughs> a special moment to probably should have looked at that before. All right, so we're gonna do the skinny part. We're gonna put a dimensional, I mean a mini glue dot on it, and we're gonna stick it right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the way the pumpkin goes. All right, I'm gonna put a dimensional on the front of this one. I mean on the back of that one and I'm gonna put a dimensional on the front bottom of this one okay well if it'll let me pick it up okay so this one we're gonna stick right here kind of sticking out the other one we're gonna stick right here okay now let's do it with the other one not really liking um coming off those glue dots all right so this one let's go ahead and put it on the front and then this one we're going to do on the front too okay so we're going to put this one here and then we're going to take and put this one right there okay so there are our two pumpkins now we're going to take here we're gonna lay this one flat, just like that. So we're gonna use our stamp and seal. I'm gonna give it a good coverage. All right, I'm gonna stick this one right about here. Okay, and then we're gonna take this one and pop it up. And I, I love this set. Um, I made a bunch of teacher little gifts um, for a craft fair last year. All right, and then we're gonna kind of sit that one right there. 
All right, now we're gonna take these words, <clears throat> these words, these letters, and we're gonna spell out some letters. I'm gonna leave that there because it keeps coming off. So we have welcome, and it didn't do the greatest job cutting. So we're gonna have to like flip them over. So well, I don't know how I'm gonna make that stay though. Let's do this. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take and start from the back. Well, look, that one came off. All right, so that's the E. All right, and I need the M. Okay, so let's just go ahead, and actually we can put them down here so they can kind of go across the bottom there. So W, uh, W, E, um, I need the M. I wanna make sure that they're getting even. Okay, so just as an FYI, it is very, very sticky. Okay. O. Wish I can. Okay, put that down. All right, and then C. Another E and a W and there is our welcome. Okay, now I think this is kind of blank here. So I'm gonna add another pumpkin to it just so that it kind of fills in. And that kind of looks a little wonky, but it's okay. I'm gonna go with it. So let's go ahead and get our, I'm gonna do uh, two more, okay? So let's get our black memento out. And we're gonna stamp right there. And we're gonna stamp right there, okay. Then we're gonna get our green, which is pear pizzazz, and we're gonna ink up. I don't know why I keep closing it. Ink up. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and that should do it. Punch. as I have pieces flying everywhere. Fun. Okay. All right, so there are those pieces. All right, this is trash, so I'm gonna put it in the trash can. All right, and then we're gonna punch out these, so I need to cut. Just cut that little strip there. And then we will punch, punch, 
punch. And one more. All right. And then we need our early espresso. And we're gonna punch out two stems. All right. Move all the trash out the way because we don't need any of that. All right, so let's take our glue dots and let's go ahead and put on our stems. So we want to put one and two, and then we're going to take our, our leaves and do one, two, and we're going to do this one on the front and this one on the front. And I actually meant to do one of them on the back, but that's okay. All right, oops, I took the wrong one off. We need these first. All right, so let's take and adhere, we're gonna adhere this one that way. And that way. And now we're gonna put our leaves on. So we're gonna do this leaf there. And then we're gonna take this one and put it on the back, sticking up like that. All right. Then we're gonna take this one, put this one here. And then we're gonna take this one and put it right there. Okay. So let's take this one and stick it up underneath, just like that. So we're just gonna adhere it straight down. Okay, and then we're gonna pop this one up. This one right about here. Okay, so let's add a little extra to it by adding some linen thread. Let me grab some. As I was putting it together, I thought the linen thread would look great. And what we're going to do is come right here. We're gonna wrap it around twice. Sorry, I probably just took the camera out of focus. All right, Let's see if we can get it to wrap. There we go. Okay, and let's wrap it, let's wrap it one more time. So it's got three. Okay, and now we're just gonna tie a bow. And I feel like, all right, that's gonna hang down a little bit that way. All right. I'm just gonna play with it just a minute. All right, and then I'm gonna take these and spread them out a little bit on that side. And then just a touch this way. Okay, let's cut off those tails. So there's not so much there. All right, there we go. I actually really love this card. I'm pretty proud of that one, okay. I love the fallness. Now, obviously, that's a little crooked. No one's really going to notice. But if you have a problem with that, you can always use your um, uh, grid paper to kind of help you keep it even. 
but I was having issues. I should have run it through again just to make sure that it cut off the backing, but that is all right. All right, so there we go. Remember, comment, share, make sure that you post a copy of your of a card that you were sending. Um, and I was telling, I had a class tonight uh, on Simply Elizabeth Crafts, and I said to make sure not to post a card from class. Come up with your own, make it creative and have fun because that's what that's what World Card Making Day is all about. It's about using your creativity to make a card and then to send it out. So make sure you post that card and that you sent it and your name will be entered into draw, uh, into a drawing. And I have quite a few little goodies to give away for that as well. All right, and again, I'll be giving those away uh, next week. So it'll be sometime in the week of the 5th. I will go live and give, um, and draw all of those names. So, all right, see you on the next one. Thanks guys.